episode, we were finishing our turn as the Germans, and we finished clearing out any Allied naval presence in the Mediterranean, as well as the Northern Atlantic up here, which was great. Um, so, as we go to finish our turn, we had one last, this was non-combat movement, we finished that, and so now we're going to place our units that we just purchased. I'm going to take all seven of my armors, put them in Germany, and I've got a submarine as well that I'll go ahead and put here. And so that's going to finish our Germany turn. We also ended up basically abandoning Belarusia here. Um, and the reason I had to do that was because it would have left Eastern Europe completely open uh, for the Soviets to sort of try to invade from the Ukraine up over here. So let's see what the British are going to do next. Okay, so combat movements. Are they doing anything with their fleet over here in the Pacific? It doesn't look like it. They actually didn't have any combat movements, which is awesome. The British don't have any units in Gibraltar. It's just an American bomber, it looks like. And so the British continue to stack up over here in the Caucasus. They're reinforcing the uh, reinforcing the Soviets, which sucks. And it looks like they built a transport and like a cruiser, oh, a destroyer over here. Okay, so that was a pretty easy British turn. All right, so now we are going to look at the Japanese here. So what do we want to buy? Uh, let's pick up a sub. And I'm going to buy an industrial complex because I want to put one over here, maybe in Manchuria or, Manchuria or China. Let's see. That leaves us with nine. Nine dollars. Can I get a fighter? No, I can't. What about... Maybe an anti-aircraft? I don't know. Let's go with another sub. Okay, combat movement. So one of the things I know that I want to do is take out this British fleet here off of China. Okay, I see this already. Let's take this battleship, attack the US carrier there. We'll take this and this into the fight. We've got a random hmm. We've got a random transport sitting out here on Wake Island. Nothing I can really do about that at the moment. Let's take this fleet and of course these two subs will attack there. The transport I'm going to leave for the moment just because I can go ahead and do this. Load up these two infantries. And these guys are going to go to Manchuria. Okay, so we'll continue to reinforce there. I can bring in... I'm going to take one of my fighters from Japan and sink that um, transport. I've got a bomber. Ooh. All right, we're going to take a risk here. We're going to take three infantry into here. We'll take a couple fighters in. These guys will have to land back in French Indochina anyways. I will take... some infantry over there. Perfect. 
That should be more than enough, really. Uh, we could take this fighter. Can we attack midway with it? And still land? I don't think so. I don't think we can land safely. You know what? I'll just have them... I'll just have this fighter assist in this attack. I've also got a bomber that I could throw into the mix. Hmm. We'll leave the bomber sitting where it is right now. I don't think we're going to need it, actually, which is surprising. We might move it somewhere in non-combat movement, though. I want to take... What can I do here? Got a cruiser, a submarine, and a carrier. You know, if I move it up to Wake Island, I could try to trap the U.S. Navy. So yeah, we'll take that fighter back and move up this fleet here. Like this. Cool. And... Hmm. What about this fighter? We'll just throw it there. Okay. There's not any real land attacks besides China that I can do at this point. So let's end the phase. We'll start off down here, trying to hit this uh, aircraft carrier. We missed. They missed. Do not retreat. Okay, that should do it. Boom. Goodbye, U.S. aircraft carrier. So we won that battle. Let's go to the next one. Try to get rid of this. Uh, mm, zero hits from the subs. I did score a hit. Total. Which will take out this uh, destroyer. Mm, they did hit me back, so I have to choose a casualty. I will choose it as a sub. You know, I should have put a hit on my battleship, but we'll do that if this carrier strikes back. Okay, we scored a hit with our one surviving sub there. Looks like that carrier's gone. So we won that battle. All right, let's do the Chinese battle here. We score two hits. They score one hit, so we'll take an infantry out. We will continue the attack. Two hits, that kills them off. Ooh, they also scored two hits. Wow. I got lucky there. But we do conquer China. So that's good news. Okay, we destroyed their transport, and I also took a shot at their infantry on Wake Island and hit them, and they did, did not score a hit back. So killed off that guy. Okay, so now we're in non-combat movement. We'll put this fighter back on our aircraft carrier there. We'll take this guy. Here.
put him on the aircraft carrier. So now we've got a pretty strong fleet in the Pacific. We will take this bomber, reinforce the French Indochina, take that fighter there as well, just to kind of seal off any offensive you know they want to put in from India. I have to land these fighters. I'll land one there, two there. You know what? We will land both there for the moment just because I'm going to put an industrial complex there. Can't do anything with these armors. Hmm. It looks like that's all I can really do at this point. Yeah. Okay. End of the phase. Two subs. We will put you out here. An industrial complex, which is going to be really cool. We'll put that in Manchuria. Yeah, we'll put that in Manchuria. Okay. Now we can build over here on this continent. So Awesome. Okay, moving on. It looks like it is the Soviets' turn. Let's see what they're going to do. They will most likely move into Belarus out here. Oh, it's the Americans' turn. Duh. Doesn't look like they could attack anywhere, so they are already on to non-combat movement, which is music to my ears. They're going to reinforce Hawaii with their aircraft carrier. They're moving some... Ooh. Okay, interesting. They reinforce the Caucasus. They also moved a battleship here. So they split their fleet over here in the Pacific, which was a little surprising. They couldn't do really do anything in North Africa at the moment. All right, Soviets. They did move one infantry into Belarusa. They're already onto non-combat movement, so they weren't able to um, attack me anywhere. Ugh, the Eastern Front is just looking super scary at the moment. Okay, Germany's turn. So, in interest of protecting the Eastern Front, I'm just going to build a lot of infantry. Eleven of them. Combat movement. So... You know what we could do is try an offensive launching out of the Balkans, bring these armor units in as well, and just try to push through the Ukraine. Let's try that. Armor. Six infantry. Six out of our seven um, armors there. This armor is just going to be parked right up here in Eastern Europe just for additional backup. We also want to yeah I want to take my fleet here take this sub here we'll bring this destroyer in 
continue to keep the British naval presence just away. Just get away. You know, I'm going to bring this battleship up here too, just to prevent... I'm actually going to bring it here. This will help me prevent um, any, you know, any future African invasions. So... What else can we do? I don't know. That might be about it. All right, so let's get this battle in the Ukraine going. We score three hits, which destroys their infantry. Oh, they also scored three hits. All right, next roll. Don't retreat. Only two hits, which takes out their artillery. They score one hit. Don't retreat. Okay, and that'll finish them off. Hopefully they miss with this last roll here. Yep, and they do. Okay, so we take over Ukraine. We score two hits and just completely destroy that little naval force there. And they miss. Okay, so... Good outcome. So now we're on to non-combat movement. Since I know they can't invade Norway, you know they could. This is going to be an interesting predicament here. The Soviets could push all the way up into Norway if they wanted to with this force. I'm going to let, you know, I'm not going to do anything, though, to let them think otherwise. You know, I'm going to let them split this force if they choose to attack one way or the other. I think that's all we can really do at the moment. Yeah. Next turn, I'm going to want to buy another transport here so I can try to still pump units into northern Africa all right end the phase yeah I'm sure I don't want to move anybody 11 infantry oh that's right I can only place 10 here we'll throw We'll throw one guy into Southern Europe there. All right. Next up is the British. Let's see what they do. <laughs> Combat move. Doesn't look like they're really going to do anything. Oh, they are. Oh, they destroyed my transport up here. Damn it. Smart move on their part. On to non-combat movement. Whoa. Bringing a large presence over to Canada. Interesting. Okay, Japanese turn. All right, since we now have an industrial complex in Manchuria, I wanna put some beef into my infantry. We'll get eight infantry units. Oh wait, that's not gonna be smart. Here's why, I can only place three units in Manchuria at any given time. So, We'll just create a lot of armor for that. Let's buy some fighters. We'll get two fighters. Three armors and two fighters. 
purchase combat movement all right so we're gonna attack the Hawaiian fleet there bring a sub bring a destroyer you know that should be more than enough to take care of that little piece meanwhile we're going to take this crew and go like this. You know, I'm going to take my transport. And start moving that south because I want to take over Australia. Australia. What else can we do? I'm not really ready to move into Sinkang yet, just because there's a big group of troops here from a Soviet perspective. Hmm. So we've got a couple options. I mean, we could try a move on India. That would hurt the British a lot. That would be awesome. Do we want to do that? Shit. They've got an anti-aircraft, but... This is kind of a risk. We're going to try. We will try. Okay. That's all I'm going to really do. Can I do anything with this fleet? No naval units down there. There we go. All right. All right. One hit with my submarine, which kills their submarine. They defend with zero hits. Perfect. I'm destroying their big expensive aircraft carriers. They did fire back with one hit, so... Hmm... Yeah... I'll take the sub as the casualty, unfortunately. Okay, next battle. Trying to shimp a, sink their battleship here. Sink my battleship. We will not retreat. Continue the attack. Ooh, zero hits. We needed a hit there. Ah, oh, I knew that was going to happen. Let's load one hit onto the battleship. Okay, that'll do it. If they hit us again, we'll say that our fighter... Okay, great, they missed. Okay, so there goes a American battleship down the tubes. India. Their AA guns miss me, which is awesome. We score two hits. 
they did score one hit coming back. We'll take the infantry as a casualty. Do not retreat. Okay, that'll hopefully they miss. Please miss. Oh, I knew it. All right, we had to choose a fighter as a casualty there because otherwise we wouldn't capture the territory. So we have to land this air force somewhere. We'll land them in Ch China. China. Hmm. You know, I just think... Yeah, we'll keep this transport down here. I was going to move it back up here to Japan and try to transfer an armor unit, but that's okay because we are about to place our units. We'll go with three armors there in Manchuria. And then I have to put two fighters there in Japan. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the video there. Uh, please remember to come back soon for another episode coming your way very quickly. Uh, also, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll see you next time.